in this video WWE 2K23 my faction so this is my showcase series episode 1 featuring Diamond Roman Reigns so to get this card you have to collect 780 cards 780 cards is it worth collecting 780 cards to get this Diamond Roman Reigns let's find out so basically, you have to reach level 20. So Roman Reigns, let's take a look at his attributes, right? So what really stands out? He has a lot. He's a diamond, and he has a lot of 80s and 70s in attributes. So leg durability is 89. His leg power is 84. Arm power 84, right? Technical submission offense is standing at a 71. Remember, this is a diamond card, right? So... If you average all this out, it's not going to average even to a 90, right? Probably got about 80 and change. So his specials are 84, his finishes are 89, right? Pen escape is a 84, arm durability, 84, leg durability, 89. So his badges. So he does have four, three badges on tier four, which is the highest tier. He has determination. Heavy handed and endurance. On tier three, he has merciless opportunist. Now, he does not have any sting like a B badge. Is that gonna hurt this card? Is it gonna hurt this card not to have the best badge in the game? All right? So you got a diamond card that does not have sting like a B. Is this card worth collecting 780 cards to get? All right. So we saw this card. So now, if we go and we check out all the Roman Ring cards that are in this game, we'll make a comparison. So let's go to Roman Reigns. Name Roman Reigns. Let me see. Have to go. Okay, so here we go. So this first Roman Reigns, right? It's from Proving Grounds. Right? He has a lot of attributes in the 60s, a couple of 84 finisher, right? So his badges, he has determination on tier three. He does have Stin like a B, but it's only on tier one with heavy handed to go with it on tier two. So this car has Stin like a B. His diamond doesn't, even though it's just tier one. Okay. So his ruby card from the WrestleMania promo packs. This card has great badges, right? His attributes, nothing special, but he has Space Invader on tier three. Stand like a B on tier three. Rage on tier three. And he has Going In Hot on tier three. This is a great card. This Roman Reigns is a great card. He has all the badges you need, almost on the highest tier. Second to highest tier, which is tier three. We just saw his diamond, right? Now you have this Ruby Roman Reigns from the Locker Cool, right? This is the Super Card Myth Roman Reigns. Everybody got this free. You should have got the Locker Cool. I think it was Super Card 2K23, I believe, was the Locker Cool. If not, just look it up. Should have this card. So his badges, he only has Slippery Eel and Pain Train, but he does have them. On tier four, the highest tier. He does not have stand like a B. This sapphire Roman Reigns, which is now in the live events, right? Has stand like a B on the highest tier. He has Space Invader on tier two and Rabble Rouser on tier one. This is also a good card because if you look at his badges, he has stand like a B on the highest tier. So he's the only card right now that has well, Roman Reigns that has Stain Like a B on the highest tier. His diamond doesn't even have Stain Like a B on tier one. So is that going to hurt the diamond? So right off, just telling you right now, by comparing with the badges and what the cards have, I say this Ruby Roman Reigns is probably one of the top Roman Reigns cards in the game. And then this Live Events Roman Reigns is also a top Roman Reigns card in the game. So you want to go with these two cards, right? 
there's one other card I'm gonna go check it out real quick but these are the two best Romarang cards in the game so we're gonna play with them we're gonna try them out play with this card I'm not even worth I'm not even gonna do a review because I don't think this card is good and this card does have stand like a bee but these cards are so close but this one has better badges so we're gonna go with the live events and you guys can get this live events right now and I'm just gonna let you know how you can do it you go into live events let me see if he's still he should still be live to get yeah so basically you have to have this gold J Uso from the danger zone packs if you have this card go get this Roman Reigns not now right now okay it's a free card it's probably one of the best free cards if you pulled the other Roman Reigns from the WrestleMania promo packs then I would use this card. But we're going to try them out. This card has, as far as the badges go, he has the best set of badges. He has Space Invader, Stand Like a Bee, Rage, and Going In Hot, all on Tier 3. Listen, when it comes to badges and tiers and all that, and the package of badges, this is the best package of badges that a Roman Reigns has. This card is probably the best Roman Reigns card in the game. But we're going to try them out. There's one more card, one more Roman Reigns that was just released with the Superstar Series 2 promo. And you have to lock in. Basically, you have to lock in for him. So it's kind of tough to lock in for this card because you have to collect so many cards. And this promo has a, a hundred, 130 cards to pull from packs. Right? So you got 130 cards to pull. And if you get blessed and get all the cards in this set this collection set reward you'll be awarded this amethyst roman reigns so we go take a quick look at this amethyst roman reigns and we'll see his badge package right so as far as his attributes is all mid now he has a, also has a great package of badges his whole package right he has thin like a bee going in hot pain train on tier four the highest tier he has space invader but only on tier one so he has a great set, but the WrestleMania Ruby Roman Reigns has an overall better set as far as all the badges because he has Space Invader on Tier 3 instead of this one only has Tier 1. You with me? So this will probably be the second best Roman Reigns card in the game. So we're going to try out. Once I... If I ever get blessed and I'm able to lock in for him, I will do an update and a showcase with this card. But right now we're showcasing Diamond Royal Membranes. And the main thing is, is he worth even going for? All right. So basically you want to play with a card. We'll test them out. You could do Proving Grounds. That's where the card's going to be tested the most. But we're all playing Faction Wars. We're all trying to game MFP so we can open packs, right? So... If you get a high, a great card, this is where you want to use them in, right? So we'll sub out the bloodline and we'll just put in some bronze, right? Put in some bronze cards. Because I just don't want the computer being super cheesy with me right now. So we're going to sub in some bronze cards to pick anybody. Okay. So we're going to test this Diamond Roman Reigns, as you were playing Faction Wars, that's the way I like to test the card, right? Because Faction Wars is the mode you're going to play the most because you want to gain my faction points to open packs. So the point of the cards being good is that they help you in this mode, right? Also Proving Grounds. And then Weekly Towers, you can pretty much play with any card. But, um... Got to type in Roman. Okay. So now, watch. Well, so he does not. This is Diamond Roman Reigns. Lacking. Stand like a be back. You see how many times I just strike my opponent? And the stun meter is not even thinking about coming. This is a problem. This is a big problem. I don't know what they're going to do. If they're going to update these cards. But if they don't give this card thing like a B. It's absolutely garbage. I know it's a diamond, and I know it's 
extremely difficult to get, right? But on this channel, I try to give you the most exclusive WWE 2K23 My Factor content. So, I'm trying to bring you gameplay reviews of these cards that are hard to get to tell you if they're even worth going for. And if they're not, what are the other options and what you should do? I'll give you advice and then you see it with your own eyes. I'm not just going to tell you, I'm going to prove it. And then you can make a decision based on what I'm showing you, right? Because the proof is in the pudding, point blank. Right? So he doesn't have stand like a beat. And I'm not even standing my opponent. And this match is starting to get annoying because he doesn't have to. So if you, don't, if you have a card that doesn't have stand like a beat, like this Diamond Roman Reigns, that he's a good card and you really, really want to use him, here's my recommendation. Don't even strike. Just do straight grapple. Just do straight grapples until the stun meter comes up, and then you can start doing strikes and stuff like that. But just start doing the straight grapples because for you to just sit there and strike all day, and then what they're gonna do? Watch. Soon they're gonna reverse you, right? There it is. It's guaranteed reversal. And no stand like a B, you're not stunning them. And when you stun them, is when you can do whatever you want. And he's gonna end up getting tags, and it's gonna be annoying. Like, this is gonna be annoying. So, I, this card right now, like. Um, it's, it's horrible. It's, it's just, I don't understand. Diamond Roman Reigns should be one of the best cards in the game. You know, hands down. But, um, so, I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to face this, man. Let me just see if I, I, I mean, because here he got to stun me to finally. Let's stun him and try to do, uh, what is this? see? This is the problem if you don't have stand like a beat. The reverses. Now, I can't even, like, perform my special, my finisher. He's gonna get the tag again. Like, now this match is gonna be for long because we're in faction wars. I gotta start with a new opponent, start weakening from the beginning. Yeah. Him not having stand like a B considerably hurts him. So I'm gonna stop it right here, right? So you saw how that match went. You see where this match is going. Nowhere. Okay. Now, the card that I said was one of the top Roman Reign cards. Let's let's try one of those, right? So sub in sub out the diamond. Let's go. I mean okay. Did I pass him? Okay. So we have these sapphires, right? So I'm almost for proving rounds, but he has still like a B but it's on tier one, right? So this one from the live events has stand like a B on tier four. Space Invader on tier two. So I said this one has the better all overall badge package, but this one has the overall best badge on the highest tier, which is stand like a B. So I'm gonna try this card, right? So remember, this is let me just let me get let me just put a contract on champ. Okay. This is Live Events Reward Roman Reigns, who is still live. I'm recording this on Monday. Let me see my phone. Today is June 19th. So this, this card is still live. Most of you probably got him already. The only reason you don't is if you didn't have the card. I think it was Jay Uso you needed. Or Jimmy Uso. I think it was Jay Uso. So, let's tag in this card. Now, watch. Of course you can't With Stay Like a B. Right? Look, look at that. Look at that. You see where we are right now? You see this? I already stunned him. I don't have to worry about him tagging in. I can do any move I want. I don't have to worry about him. Well, I hit it. I hit it late because of the stun. But basically, like, it just gives you a whole demographic. Like, like, it being less than one. I'm gonna spot this thing like a beat again. I'm gonna activate it. See that? Now look how this match goes. Look at the difference between the first match and this one. Like, just because this card has thing like a beat. And he has thing like a beat on the highest tier. Now he does have space invader, so you know, in factual worlds we do go for submissions, right? That's my preference to win the match. But he only has it on tier two. So would I trade a tier three space invader? Right? Would I trade this card for the other card? Because this one has tier two space invader. But he has still like a B on tier four. Would I trade 
Do I stand like a B on tier 4 or I stand like a B on tier 3 to get a space invader for tier 3? Yeah, I would. I would do that. Because now I'm balancing my badges. You understand? So I'm not, I'm not too concerned with like, with like winning or whatever. Just, just, just to give you like an example. Because, like, stay like a B is the most important badge in the game, and he has it on the highest tier. And this is a free card, so this is a free card if you have the requirements to get it, right? Which I, I pray you do. And I know most of you are going. Grinding my faction points to open danger zone packs to get the card you need. I get it. You know, is it worth the grind? Yes. Oh, oh right now? Because look at this. This is what you want. This is what this is what Diamond Roman Reigns should have been doing. Why would they not give him stay like a B on tier four or any tier after that? You could have given him tier three and it still would have been it still would have been great. So Big difference. Big, huge difference. Big, huge difference with this Roman Reigns. Just on the striking alone. Just on the striking alone. He's tired and look, look, look. He's tired and I can still stun my opponent. So I say this card right here, definitely better than the diamond, for sure. For sure. Here's the pump handle. Now his stamina is a little iffy. So I noticed that on this card, the stamina is a little iffy. But when you have something like a BNT card, your stamina is going to be really interesting. You're getting a lot of strikes. See that? I know the stamina. Boom, I leave him here. And because I was able to stun him, I had time to go to my corner to get my signature animation, even though he was tired. All right? So I'm going to let his, uh, come here. Try to stun him for I can't go really to do it because he's tired. So his stamina is a little low. That's the only thing I can say about this car that might hurt you. See that? His stamina is low. I missed uh, the start. Other than that, as long as you play against, like, you got to mess a little bit here and there, you should be fine. So this Roman Reigns, right now I'm putting it on top of the diamond. I'm going to put it on top of the diamond, and then we'll go try out the uh, Ruby Roman Reigns with a better package. Okay, so let's go sub in another Roman Reigns. Okay, so where are we at? So we did this live events reward, right? We did the diamond. So I put this one in first place right now, and I'll put this one in second. This one will be third, just based on the badges, because these cards are similar. But if you look at the badges, this one just has better badges. And then I put this one, so first, second, third, fourth, in that order. We didn't do this one yet, the Ruby. I'm pretty sure this Ruby is going to be the, the best Roman Reigns card in the game right now. Because he has a balanced set of badges on tier 3. He has all the necessary badges he, and he has going in hot going in hot is when you start the game you start to fight with some with some of your special meat already built up so let's just sub him in okay so now this is ruby roman reigns from the wrestlemania packs so See, the diamond, that's all decoration. Any card you're going to review or look at or you want to 
see, you know, make a judgment of how they play. Just look at their badges. Look at their badges, and then you can look at the attributes after. But definitely start with their badges. So if we go according to our badges, as far as the package goes, the, the whole package, this card right here has the best package. Because he has Space Invader, and he has Born in Hot, and he has Thin Like a Bee, all on tier 3. So you see this? You see, this is pure dominance. This is what Roman Reigns is. He'll be in real life, and this is what the Diamond Roman Reigns should be like. See that? I'll get the reversal. Now I activate Thin Like a Bee again. You see the difference? The difference in the way I'm playing? I'm not playing no different with the card. The card is actually playing different. I'm still doing the same thing, right? Still striking. Still, you know, trying to activate skin like a bee. So you see this? Now I can do whatever I want to. Now I noticed this card has a little bit better stamina than the Sapphire we just reviewed, but not much. So Roman Reigns has a stamina issue. Uh, well, that's one way to leave hope is not in the bedroom suppose. with his baby mama, but uh, yeah, he has a stamina issue fighting all the cards. So, I mean, maybe his diamond doesn't, that's probably the only thing, but without Stan I could do, what's the point of the striking, so. See that? Stan I could be activated, so that's pure dominance. Pure dominance with this part right here. So this card right here plays way better than all of them. All of them together. This is the best one. I'm having like more success with this card right here. I don't know why he's going to the top rope because I didn't even hit that. But anyway. Yeah, so so Cole comes in. To the outside. But you get the point. So this is the card you want to play with, right? Ruby, Roman Reigns. Oh, and a reversal. Oh. See that? This, these, these CPUs have been extremely cheesy lately, like old peaches, like crazy. But nonetheless, you get the point. You want Roman Reigns with Stan Like a Beat. So any Roman Reigns card you have that has Stan Like a Beat, the one that has the highest tier, that's the one you want to use, okay? So the Diamond, mm, it's not it. Diamond's not it. Not him. So now I'm just gonna focus on playing. So if I'm using this card right here, I'm focus on playing. I'm gonna win this game for this match. I'm gonna judge it by what I'm doing. He 
is mentally and physically exhausted now. I don't want to say he's done, but I can hear the fat lady warming up. And he sends him into the corner. Superman Game over. Let's go. So Ruby Roman Reigns from the WrestleMania promo packs. So Resilience here right there. Yeah, anytime you lose control in the match, bring in one of your partners and start tagging because they'll get the tag in. And once they get the tag in, it's annoying because you gotta start all over from the beginning. That's the thing I could be, the thing I could be a little bit, a little bit of a signature. Now this is the best Roman Reigns card in the game. Here are your winners, Wesley Roman It's that lack of staying like a bee that's hurting this diamond card severely. Like I don't know why they would not give a diamond card, which is supposed to be one of the best cards in the game, the best badge in the game. Like I don't understand. Okay, so that being said. This is the best Roman Reigns card in the game. Right here. Ruby Roman Reigns. This is the, if you want a Roman Reigns card, this is the best one to play with. Uh, there's the Amethyst. We still have to check that one out once we, if we're able to unlock him and complete that collection set. From the Superstar Series 2. Promo packs. We'll try that card out and we'll, up, we'll do an update and comparison. But right now, this is the best Roman Reigns card in the game. The second one, you guys should, hopefully, you guys can get is this one right here Sapphire Live Events Roman Reigns. He's the second best one available right now. The diamond, I would put the diamond probably at the third best. No, probably the fourth best. So, the lack of Sting Like a Bee is huge. It's a huge hit to this car. So, is this diamond worth Roman Reigns worth going for? I say no. Absolutely not. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. If you, I mean, if you're playing the game and opening packs, it is what it is. If you naturally happen to pull them, then fine, so be it. But I'll tell you right now, if you naturally, like, I have it, and I'm not going to use them. If I'm going to use Roman Reigns, I'm going to use the Ruby Roman Reigns from the WrestleMania promo pack. So that's the showcase. Hope you guys enjoyed it. So that showcase episode one, showcase series episode one, Diamond Roman Reigns. Was he worth it? No. So thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to enter my 400k BC giveaway still open in the description. I'll leave a link down below. Hit that video. It'll show you exactly how to enter. And you 
and have a chance to win 400k BC. That's my thank you. Just so letting you know how much I appreciate you guys supporting this channel, viewing my content, all the comments, all the likes. You guys are absolutely killing it right now, and I deeply appreciate it. That being said, thanks for riding with me. Remember, Jesus always loves you. God bless. 2K Pun. I'm out.